So I spent quite a good number of years, ladies and gentlemen, investing in a, part in a narcissistic partnership. It does not matter what I did, people. It does not matter how much work I put in. Everything was going to waste. And at some point, I realized that actually, whatever it is I was building was actually being broken. So I was building with somebody who doesn't know how to build. So you build and they break. So the opposite was happening in this case, in, in this situation. And it took me quite a while to understand what, what exactly was going on. I couldn't figure out what the problem was. In those days, I wasn't awakened, so I didn't know that I, I didn't know that I was dealing with abuse. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm an empath and I'm an introvert. I would wake up each and every single day with a plan. I would wake up knowing what I was going to do to build a sustainable marriage. I would try very hard people, I would get drained. There's nothing. I, I, I exhausted all avenues. And to my surprise, nothing seemed to work. And at some point in time, people, I got so exhausted that there was nothing more to offer. End of the day, I was very lucky and I was, uh, I got an awakening. I received my awakening. And that is when I realized that actually I was dealing with a narcissistic individual. That is the day actually people that changed my life. I knew there was nothing more I would do. So I knew it was time for myself to go into a full blown healing recovery process. And that is exactly what I did ladies and gentlemen. And from that day to today, I got the opportunity to become the person I am today. Things have always changed and things have never been the same. So life has indeed gotten better. In this video, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to discuss exactly why your healing is, go is also going to be your breakthrough. Let's do this. So good morning, good evening, and a good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzel Moss, and I welcome you to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking empaths free. If you're just logging in and it's your first time finding my page and narcissism resonates with you, I invite you to join our tribe, like the page, share and subscribe. And for those who have always been with me, welcome back. And I thank you for your continued love and support. So, um, in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly why it is very crucial and very important for you to fully participate in this healing process because if you've been dealing with abuse the narcissist has not only abused you physically financially sometimes even emotionally in every way the narcissist has also broken the spirit so the narcissist usually when they're abusing when they're dealing with people with, with the victims the very first thing they take into account is breaking down their spirits so usually Healing from narcissistic abuse can be a very, very huge challenge for most of the victims around the world. It is a very huge challenge and sometimes I think it is one of the most difficult things to heal from. If you have been involved with narcissists, it is one of the most difficult and sometimes even the painful thing to heal from. To heal from. But along my journey, people, um, there is something I've realized. I've realized, that later, I've realized later on that if I didn't participate in this process, I couldn't become the person I am today. If I had given up the healing, because I can assure you people there's a, time where, there's a time where I thought that I could give up. But something in my spirit told me, you have got to keep moving, because I could just see where I was coming from. Even that, I wouldn't see where I was going. I was just believing in fate, and I decided that I was going to continue healing. And I was going to continue doing this process, participating in my healing. So I devoted myself and I committed myself to healing. And eventually, at the end of the day, people, there were good days ahead. There were bright days ahead. I was able to become the person I am today. So one thing you have to understand, people, is that is this. Number one, the narcissist does not want you to heal. These individuals, when they are discarding you, when they are ending that partnership with you, 
they try to make it a point that you do not heal from this because the nurses they are looking for a way that they can sneak back in and they want to find you emotionally available to them so that they can they can be able to hover you or even sometime to sneak back into those partnerships that is why most of the cases many individuals who have been in nurses relationships they have been caught off guard but people i want to tell you something in particular if you know if you have discovered that you're dealing with a narcissist, if you have finally found out and you've been able to unmask a narcissist, let me guarantee you people, I'll guarantee you something that there is no return ticket. If your eyes have opened, people, your eyes have opened for a reason. That is exactly God and the angels working behind the scenes to open your eyes so that you can know exactly what you're dealing with and you can be able to get out and step out of that partnership so that you can be able to now go into the healing process because at the end of the day, you are going to come face to face with a new version of yourself. It is painful, and of course I understand this. It is very, very difficult and challenge to, challenging to heal from narcissistic abuse. It is painful. But at the end of the day, people, if you are committed and you stay committed to the process, everything is going to work in your favor. So there is light, there is a light ahead at the end of the tunnel, and there are better days ahead. For those individuals who are still suffering and who are still struggling to heal, you can pick a leaf from me. I've been in two abuse for, for a couple of years, about seven, seven years or something. And even before that, there were still a couple of nurses in my life. But people, all this, I realized that actually it was working for me because everything later on would work out as a blessing in disguise. I was, I was able to actually discover the person I am. I was discover. I was, able, I was able to discover my true authenticity and the person I am, who I, who, am, who I really am. And that is how I discovered that I was an emperor. End of the day, I stepped into my purpose and to become actually the person I am today. So you should pick a leaf from me, people. There is always better days ahead. It is going to be challenging. It's a road to climb. I mean, it's, uh, it's a lot of uh, all sorts of uh, difficult uh, difficulties, uh, you know, uh, emotional, physical, you know, because you are you are now starting to build, you, you are starting to build again from scratch. When you have left nurses, people, let me assure you something that you are building from scratch. You are starting again. You are you are actually revisiting the person you meant to be, and you're starting to build again from scratch. So most of the cases can be challenging. It can be difficult and challenging as well. And I've never said, in, my, in most of my videos you've heard me say, I've never said, really mentioned that it's an easy journey. It is quite a complicated journey. But the secret to the whole thing is that you are supposed to embrace the healing process, people, because you have not woken up for nothing. You have awoken for a reason. If you have had the opportunity, even just to find out that you've been dealing with the nurses, people, if you have had the chance and the opportunity, somebody has told you, or maybe you have discovered you're dealing, or maybe sometimes you're sleeping with the nurses. Let me assure you, people, you're dealing, you're dealing with something much more sinister than you, than you can imagine, much, much more evil and demonic than you can imagine. You are dealing with something very deeply spiritual. It is that excuse you're supposed to take up and use that excuse to step out completely, people. When you've discovered you're dealing with a nurses, this is spiritual, you're dealing with something very evil and very spiritual. It is that alone you're supposed to hang on to, to actually step out of that partnership and start embarking on the healing process. What is going to happen with the nurses is not your job. What is going to happen with them and the new supply is not your job, people. The job you have for yourself, the job you have is the job for yourself to get out and heal yourself. Whatever is going to happen to the nurses and the new supply, that is going to, it is God going to make the judgment. It is not your judgment to make, it is God going to do the judgment. The karma will get back at them. Number one, because the new supply, remember, they have stepped into a commitment, which is already a sin in its own. So a person who comes in and steps into a commitment, they have already committed a sin, including the nurses themselves, who have actually committed adultery. So whatever is going to happen with them, whatever is going to happen to them is not your job. Your job is to step out. God has a work and do for a reason. So your job is to step out, commit yourself, and stay true to yourself, and embark on a full healing full-blown healing process and recovery. I will also say these people that when you heal, you 
are going to discover each and everything that you've ever wanted to do. All the things you've ever wished to do. All the places you've ever wished to go. You are going to start, actually, all the doors are going to start, or start opening up for you because you have finally been able to detox and to get yourself out of a very demonic and evil situation. So you get out of that situation and all the doors you've ever wished to open, they're going to start opening up for you. Whether it's a business you've started, whether, whether it's a business you've always wished to do, whether it's places you've always wished to go, whether it is actually the person you've always wished to be, everything is, every, everything is going to reveal itself to you when you have left the nurses people. There is nothing you will ever achieve. Let me say that again. You will never achieve anything when you're still involved with somebody who is toxic and evil. Why? Because it is exactly that person actually who is actually blocking your own blessings. The best thing the narcissist does is to block your blessings. So you will never meet the best version of yourself when you're still living with the narcissist. It is until you get out of yourself, you get yourself out of that toxic energy. That is the only way you are going to be able to actually discover the person you meant to be and discover all these things happening, all these good things coming into your life and happening for you. So the secret is to committing to the healing process because at the end of the healing process, people, you are going to experience a very huge breakthrough. And breakthroughs, like always, like you already know, they come in so many ways. They can come into a new. They can come by means of a new job. They can come by means of uh, 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 friends and fr friends and relatives coming back into your life. They can come in forms of you traveling to the places you've always wished to be, wish to go. They can come into form in, in forms like you starting up your own business, becoming the best you can be, and becoming and finding and meeting the best version of yourself. That is the secret to healing people. The breakthrough, the healing, your healing, is your own breakthrough. You cannot heal, let me repeat that, you cannot heal people when you're still with a narcissist. It does not matter, I don't care what your coach is telling you. And again, I don't even know who is coaching you in the first place. If a person is coaching you, they should be coaching you and training you how to leave the narcissist. They cannot train you how to live with the narcissist. They should training you, be training you how to get out of there. No matter how long it's going to take, they are supposed to be training you how to get out of that, out of that partnership. Because as long as you are still involved and intoxicated with the narcissist, you are still around their energy. People, I've always mentioned it in my videos. You've heard me talking about those individuals, they are very low vibrational. There is nothing will ever work out and nothing will ever come to, come, to, come, to, come, to, come to production. You will never see the fruits of your labor when you're still living with those individuals. It does not matter what you've built, people, over the years. It will go, it is going to come down. It does not matter how much you've spent you're going to lose everything, your energy, your finances. You're going to lose your emotional status when you're living with those individuals. You will, you will never see manifestations happening when you're living with the narcissist people. The breakthroughs will start as soon as you start to see experience healing. That is when you're going to start seeing breakthroughs in your life. And that is when you're going to be thankful that actually, you'll be thankful to yourself that actually you never gave up. You stayed course and you stayed on the process of the healing. Because breakthroughs will start happening, breakthrough after breakthrough. And that is how you're able to discover the person you're meant to be. The narcissist, they'll face their karma. The narcissist, they'll meet their destiny. Which destiny? They already know where they are going in the first place. They already know how things are going to end. Them and the new supply, it is not your job. You step out of there. Let the nurses have the new supply. Let them enjoy their life. Let them do what they want to do. The karma will get back at them. It does not matter how far, how how long, how far away they run. Let me advise you. Let me tell you, people. The karma will get back to the nurses. On the other hand, as the karma is getting back to the nurses, you are healing. You are discovering yourself, and eventually, you are becoming the best version and the best you can be. Other than that, people, let me know if I missed something in the section below. I love you all. It's been a nice video on the nature, and I hope to get back in touch with you. Much love and blessings, people. There's more signing out.